Hi, this is Fred from Pixel for Fiction. Today I want to show you how to give the illusion of movement of a breathing tube included in the small box respirator pack. First of all, let's take our basic neutral character dressed with the Doughboys overseas outfit pack. Let's install the mask and the bag. They are models of the original English ones in their Americanized version. It is necessary to note that the American models of protection against chemical attacks of this time were not suitable on the theater of operations in Europe. Let's also recall that at this same time, the USA was not yet the military power that we know today. Let's go back to our small box respirator. At this stage, we can clearly see that something is missing. The tube connected to the mask and the mini filtration container. So let's place the tube provided in the pack. Ah, there's already a problem. It seems like a good start. The tube looks properly attached to the metal tip, but it's out of the back. But there is always an interesting function to use in Character Creator that allows you to easily solve this kind of little problem. Click on the tube, modify panel, and edit pose. Now you notice that our tube is composed of a lot of bones. This is very useful to customize your animations or create particular poses. Start by selecting a bone. Actually, there's nothing very specific about what I'm about to do. You're just creating a pose for the tube as you would for a character. There are just a couple of things to be aware of when using bones on an accessory. Avoid giving too large values to your adjustments. For example, rotation or translation. Go in small steps, following the hierarchy of the bones if possible. In our example, if you modify the base, the whole tube will be affected by the modifications. Let's take bone six. You can see that when we adjust this one, the previous bones are not affected. That's enough. And I don't want to spend three hours on it. I think you share my opinion. The computer tool is only there to save you time. Close the bones editing tool. Let's order our doughboy to walk quietly and see the result. Well, this is not so convincing. Actually, by exporting our character to iClone, we could have animated the breathing tube step by step thanks to the bones. But we'll come back to that. For now, we will try a faster approach that can give our breathing tube the illusion of movement. Let's go to the physics tab and modify panel. Let's make sure everything is set up correctly. Let's activate the physics and the gravity function. Let's make sure the cloth tab is selected. Let's choose a fairly rough and thick fabric like linen. Indicate the values you see on the screen. But I strongly suggest you use the ones you think will create the best rendering to your eyes. The idea is not to transform a soft rubber tube into a soft cloth, but to create the illusion of movement through the soft cloth function. Here, let's make our soldier walk now. Well, it's not bad. But there are some details that are not visually acceptable. The end of the tube goes all over the place. And we want it to stay inside the back. At this point, it's good to understand a couple of things. First of all, our tube is interpreted by character creator as a garment. A garment that can be contained and oriented by our character's collision shapes. Let's take a closer look. Let's click on our basic neutral character. In the Modified app, click on the collision shape parameter. Let's start by deactivating everything that is not useful to us. But why disable them? Because it will lighten the calculations of your poor processor. Be careful. If your character has clothes that already use the physical simulation function, 
Then I suggest you keep the elements that interact directly with the clothes. Our current character is dressed with the Doughboy's Outfit Overseas Pack. This one only includes clothes that can be deformed with the skin weights. But the trench and Red Cross Outfit Bundle and other packs include a trench coat that can be simulated with the physics function. But back to our breathing tube. We want to create a boundary around the tube, which will simulate the space of the protective bag. Select the collision shapes region closest to our bag and two. Let's select and duplicate the cap. Now let's adjust the size of this new cap so that it makes a kind of barrier on one side of the back. Then you click at the capsule you have just created and adjust. Place this new capsule on the other side of the back. This way, every time the tube meets a capsule, a collision will occur and the tube will, in theory, not go beyond this boundary. But we still need to prevent the breathing tube from protruding beyond the front of the back. Duplicate two more instances of the last created capsule and place them on the outer edge of the protective bag like this. Close the editor. Let's see the result. It's not bad. After some minor adjustments, this motion illusion will be perfect for waiting situations inside the trench. For your information and for documentation purposes, the military personnel wearing this breathing apparatus could only breathe. Talking was almost impossible, even risky. The reason is that your nose, inside the mask, was strongly pinched to force you to breathe through your mouth. And this last one was hermetically obstructed by the mouth part of the respirator. The same principle of the mask and snorkel of underwater apnea. Difficult with that to make the talk. You should also know that this device was probably the most efficient, but surely the most hated by the allied forces that used it. Let's go back to our animation. Let's put our soldier in a running situation with his mask. It is clear that visually, it becomes, how to say, embarrassing. For this very specific case, I advise you to use the stop motion technique, frame by frame, and create the illusion of a movement more in line with reality without your you looking like a piece of soft track. I mentioned it at the beginning, but now it's time to get to it. And it's really not that complicated. Now let's export our character to iClone 8. At this stage, our character has kept the collision shapes created previously in Character Creator 4, as well as the physics parameters. But if you start your project directly in iClone, you can also create your collision shapes and adjust them directly from there. The principle is strictly the same. Well, here we are in our favorite animation tool. And let me tell you this, iClone8 is really an amazing tool for independent filmmakers on a low budget. The time savings are just incredible while the quality of your animations remains very professional. Enough chatter, let's select our exported character from Character Creator. As I said, we want to make him run with a mask whose tube will have a sufficiently realistic behavior to create the illusion. Let's retrieve the appropriate mocap for the situation. Let's create a loop of a few iterations. Then let's take another mocap where the run slows down and our character then starts walking. 
to better experiment with movement and its results. Let's remove the pivot from the entire clip so that our character is running on a treadmill like those used in green screen studios. Select your clip in the timeline. Right click and reset pivot. Repeat the operation to remove the pivot. Now we have a nice animation with a perfect transition. Let's now observe the behavior of R2. But before that, let's remove the physics effects from the exported tube. Here, we don't want R2 to be recognized as a soft cloth, but rather as a soft body that we will animate step by step. Without getting too tired, nor wasting time, let's start. With the beginning, place on the timeline at the first frame. Select the tube, then Modify Panel and Motion Tab. Click on Edit Animation Layer. Let's start by properly preparing our U for this first frame. In this phase of animation, frame by frame, I advise you to create only micro adjustments for each bones. Avoid as much as possible to big modifications in one go. It's also time to change the scale of the timeline. Move your mouse over a clip. Hold the Alt key and use the mouse wheel to increase the scale of your timeline. In your Bones Editing window, deactivate all bones. Then activate only the following bones. Bones 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. We limit here the interventions, but you can, when you have all the leisure, to make it on the whole of the bones. For my part, I do not think that it is very useful to spend a lot of time on that. The principle is to create the illusion and to be forgotten to let the history, your scenario, take the top. Now, for each of these six bones that we have selected, we will create an animation key at regular intervals on the timeline. The animation key is a marker that will be used to keep each animation movement at a time t. As a general rule, the first marker is the most important one. It is the one that will determine how the others will behave. For each of the six bones, you just have to select one with your editing tool, make a change of position or rotation, even if it is minimal, and the key for this bone will be created automatically. Now move forward five frames. At this stage, it is better to create interpolations and not to try to do it frame by frame. You can weak it later, if you feel like it. To find your way around better, in the timeline, click on Animation. You will see the clip you are creating and the keys positioned exactly at 5 frame intervals. Move forward again by 5 frames and repeat the operation for each of the 6 bones. As I said, it is a question of recreating the illusion of movement. No need here to place the tube very precisely in the center of the cartridge. It is a superfluous level of detail, except if you wish to make a close-up of this zone. However, you will notice that the filter cartridge is clearly marked in the center. This will make it easier for you to place your tube more quickly, even approximately. To save time, you can duplicate the animation clip of your tube by creating a loop. If your mocap is itself in a loop, then take the value of the total length in frames of the first instance of the clip and create the same value for your tube. So the loop of your tube will coincide with the loop of your mocap.
Congratulations! You have just created a few seconds in stop motion at 60 frames per second. Let's look at the result with the by frame method rather than real time. No big worries to declare, and it's even pretty good. Let's try real time. I would say that the illusion works, and I would add that it is even much better than the soft cloth technique. But let's admit that it is much longer to implement. You will have understood. It will depend on the context of use. The choice is yours, but know that the tube allows you, with the mode physics or bones integrated, to use these two techniques without too many complications. I also wanted to tell you that the bag has some morphs, as well as the mask to better adjust them during your animations or when creating your character. These objects have been modeled specifically for the basic neutral model of character creator. If you want to create a character from scratch, I would advise you to use only the basic neutral model and build your new character on this basis with the elements provided in Character Creator. But you probably have your favorite character already created. Let's take for example the ones provided by CC4. Kevin and Kayla. You may notice some adaptation problems for some complex outfits. In this case, please refer to the following tutorial. For the mask, if the adaptation is a problem for you, I'll show you a quick tip. Use the mask marked as an accessory in the small box respirator pack. Adjust it on our Brave Collab's head with the transformation tools. Don't hesitate to use the morphs too. Once the mask is perfectly adjusted on our friend Collab's skull, choose Skin Weights Transfer in the Modify panel and choose the file rather than the templates. Indicate the following path. Public document, reillusion, reillusion custom, cloth, other, pixel for fiction, gas mask, small box respirator. Et voila. As we say in French with an American accent, your mask is perfectly fitted and without the defamations due to the adaptation. I hope I have been able to help you. Character Creator and iClone are two really powerful tools that save you a lot of time, especially if you work alone or in a small team. The purpose of these tutorials is to show you that you can still manage to create a character, dress it up from top to bottom, and make a realistic animation without having to use complex functions as it is often the case in other 3DD design tools. That was Fred from Pixel for Fiction. I wish you an excellent day. See you soon.